Dom and Roland was arguably one of the best engineers during the golden era of drum and bass. His reeses and bass signs were raw, harsh enough to shred any speaker, while his breakbeats were a study of precision and intensity, quintessential elements of the Dom and Roland sound. And that's why his track Can't Punish Me struck a chord with DMB enthusiasts all around the world. The blend of those emotive stabs and the break, dropping into this heavy Reese and Amen workout, and of course, those haunting vocals. It was pure drum and bass, uncompromising and impactful. So today, we're gonna give it a shot and rebuild this class Classic. Not saying this is Dom's blueprint because every artist has its own groove and technique. But let's break down this track for the hell of it and see what makes it tick. And perhaps you might pick up a thing or two. If you're fresh to his vibes, do yourself a favor and go on Spotify or Bandcamp and check out Dom and Roland. He's still out there dropping solid tracks. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, so the first step to recreating Can't Punish Me is... Oh. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, cool. Dom and Roland commented on my post about the remake. That's awesome. I hope he likes it. Oh. Oh, he's not too happy about it. That's not good. So, as some of you who follow me on Instagram might already know, Dom wasn't exactly thrilled about my remake. He's actually asked that I not go forward with the tutorial. Now, it's important to me to respect an artist's wishes. So unfortunately, I can't go on with this tutorial, which is a shame because I have all these samples. What do I do? I know what, we'll work on a new track. Anyways, the whole point of this video was to show you the versatility of our forthcoming Acid Lab and Icons pack. The Acid Lab pack is a full throttle drum and bass pack filled with awesome, unique breaks, bass hits, and much more, all designed by the mastermind himself. While the Icons pack is a collection of some of the most iconic samples in drum and bass and dance music, history. The Icons pack isn't for sale, but it is for free for anyone that supports us by purchasing one of our products at Deviant Audio. To learn more about either packs, check the links down below. But before we get started, let's sample some stats from an iconic David Bowie track called Let's Dance. Not like anyone else has ever sampled Bowie to make a drum and bass track. And rest in peace to both of the legends who made this track, David Bowie and Stevie Ray Vaughan on the guitars. The trick to sampling this track is to find key areas where the guitar plays on its own without any other sound playing in the background. Essentially, we're looking for places between the beats. So here's a section of the guitar phrase. And you can zoom in right here and you can see that the guitar plays in between the beat here, which I've uh, identified here. So this is a key area which you can sample. And I've done it for the rest of the phrase here, identifying the key stab in each chord change. So when you play each stab, this is what you hear. And then just copy the stab you want, export it, and save it as a new file. All right, let's jump into the Acid Lab pack, which is coming out soon. It's packed with some amazing breaks, bass, and pad sounds. Perfect for drum and bass. Here's a preview of some of the breaks. For those that don't know, Acid Lab is a producer that goes way back to 2007. I met him around 2008 or 9 in Germany and we had a really good time collaborating. He's a very talented guy and he's meticulously created these drum breaks from different break layers to create new breaks and it sounds super fresh. What I like about these breaks is they have this old school jungle vibe to them, but he's modernized the hits to sound really fresh and perfect for today's drum and bass landscape. So here's one break called the X-Men break from the Acid Lab pack and I just resequenced it to play a pattern like this. And then I'm gonna layer it with this other break in the pack called Vendetta. I just find these two breaks go really well together. 
What you want to do is make sure both brakes are playing a similar pattern. So when they layer, it sounds cohesive. And then for a switch up, I'm going to introduce this Amen brake also from the pack. And then finally, we're going to layer the Amen with this brake from the pack. So here's the Amen and the other brake. Sounding fresh. And let's come back to those David Bowie stabs. And I might include these packs in the Icons pack. It contains a lot of iconic samples across drum and bass and dance music in the 90s to 2000s. Due to the nature of this pack, we're just giving it away for free. Now to use these iconic stabs and really make them my own, I'm going to use them in a granular synthesizer. So essentially what a granular synthesizer does is it takes small bits of your samples to synthesize new sounds. And a really cool granular synthesizer is Audio Damages Quanta 2. Thanks to the crew at Plugin Boutique for hooking me up with this. If you want to grab Quanta 2, you can check it down in my links below where I have a list of my favorite tools and VSTs. So here's this preset here called Grainy House Chord. What I like about this patch is it has this almost kind of vinyl touch to it. And if we pull in the David Bowie step into this preset, Awesome vibes. And it's almost like creating a brand new sample from that originating iconic stab. So I imported two of the David Bowie stabs, one in each instance of Quanta here, because each one of those stabs is playing a different chord. So if you combine the two, you can create a new melody. I just have a simple pattern here, just playing the chord. We'll just move this on the second beat here to give it more of a cool vibe. I just added a bunch of delay to the sound to add a bit more vibe to the stabs. Then to add a little more flavor to the intro, I found this vocal from Splice. It's just an R&B vocal and pitch it up by a few semitones. Maybe I could get lost in you. Can't get enough of you. Maybe I could get lost. All right, now that we have a couple layers, let's move into adding some bass sounds. So the Acid Lab pack also has some really nice bass hits, especially 808s and Reese basses. So let's check out a few of them over here. Really like that sub hit as well. So I'm gonna use the bass hit 63 from the kit. And I created this 808 pattern. The pattern I'm using here is interesting. So we have a few sparse hits on the first bar and then we followed by this boom, 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 boom pattern here. This pattern here is found in a lot of different genres from Jersey and Philly club to reggaeton. Essentially you have quarter note, quarter note, followed by three fake triplets. So you have this. I just really like using this rhythm on top of drum and bass. I have it spread out here. So it's playing a couple different notes before getting into that Jersey pattern. Let's hear the 808 pattern with the drums. And you may have noticed I left some space around the beats. This just gives us opportunity to add call and response with this 808. So to fill out the empty spaces for the call and response, I added some wub bases from our vital pack of wubs and wobbles. If you want to grab wubs and wobbles, you can also find it down in the links below at the Deviant Audio Shop. But here's a preset that Andre made, super nasty. <laughs> Uh, 
ahead. Here's another Wub base from Wubs and Wobbles. People have been really enjoying this Vital pack. Vital is a free VST. It's kind of like Serum with some additional features. So highly recommend you check out Vital. <laughs> Thought this Wub sound was a nice addition, modernizes the entire vibe of our track. That's my vibe. I come from the old school, but I like to add bits of new school to my productions to give it that new school flair. So you'll find like modern Wub sounds with old school jungle breaks, and that's the kind of vibe I'm trying to bring with drum and bass. Finally, there's this resample in the Acid Lab pack, which I thought be a nice addition on top of the 808 to add some angriness to the track. And that does the job. So check it out in full. Now I left the very two bars at the end of the phrase empty because there's a switch up with the amens. So what I'm gonna do here is add another modern style wobble bass just to change it up. And I just have four repeating notes and then it plays out playing a slower triplet pattern. Here it is. I'm just adding a pitch bend to the note so it goes downhill like that. Just has that kind of cool modern vibe. In the past, I've said that I'm not a fan of OTT because I find some people just overdo it with OTT and it sucks the life out of the sounds. But used moderately, you can actually make the sound really nice and make it come alive. So here's before OTT. And here's with some OTT. Just adds a bit more life in the mid ranges. And this is the X for records of OTT. I believe you can get it for free. If you don't have it, you can grab it or you can use Ableton's OTT. You can find it in the audio effects. If you just type in OTT, you'll find it over there. You can pull it in. It works similarly and gets a uh, really interesting results. I'm starting to grow and like OTT a little more as I use it more. All right, let's hear that uh, call and response with the entire track. just adds a nice vibe at the end. All right, let's pull the track into the arrangement. I just added some additional atmospherics from the Acid Lab pack. Here's some effects samples. Also this riser for the Amen switch up. And this is the arrangement. Pretty much I have a 16 part intro dropping into the bass and then another 16 where it switches up the drums and drops out the vocals. So without further ado, let's check out the track in full. the beginnings of a banger. And pretty much all of the samples except the vocal comes from the Acid Lab pack. The stabs I may include in the Icons pack, we'll see. And then of course we have a bunch of Wub bases from the Wubs and Wobbles pack. If you want to learn more about any of those packs, you can check it down in the links below. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me create this track. And as you can see, sometimes when you're lacking direction or inspiration, having some fresh breaks and even a vocal sample can help you lead and find some direction.
direction for your track. Sometimes all you need to do is find a couple samples and push yourself to put down the notes. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't, but it's the consistent effort that you put in each day that counts. Eventually, you'll hit something and you'll find gold. And by the way, my name is Stranger. If you want to improve your music production and sound design, especially with drum and bass and dance music, then like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more drum and bass patterns, check this video up here. If you want to learn how to arrange drum and bass, check this video up here all right that's pretty much it for today guys thanks for watching keep practicing and i'll see you at the next video